Hey guys, it's Sarge, and this is actually my little video tutorial on how to do custom music in Splatoon. Now, I actually have a written version of the same tutorial up on Pastebin, and I'm actually going to put that in the video description if you want to go through this instead. But this is basically what I'm going to go off of in the video version, so... So first of all, you're gonna need caffeine, and basically what caffeine is, is that it's a little tool for Wii U homebrew that basically replaces game files over the internet. So basically your your Wii U and your computer have to be hooked up to the same like access point or whatever you use. Like it doesn't even matter if your PC, like just make sure like, if you're using wired, like, LAN or Ethernet on your computer, just make sure it's hooked into your router. And then make sure your Wii U is connected to the same router, either either by LAN or by wireless. It doesn't matter which. So, if you don't have caffeine yet and you don't know how to get it, I actually have a little video linked right here. Like, I think this dude does a good exclamation explanation of what is it getting caffeine so I actually recommend you go check out this guy's video what's his name flare games so yeah go check that out first before coming before coming back here all right so first of all what you need to do is that you need to find some music that you want so what I actually go where bleh, where I actually go it, <laughs> I just woke up. <laughs> anyway, where you need to go is Smash Custom Music. If if you've done custom music before with like Smash or Mario Kart or something like that, you guys know this website. You basically get custom music from here. And then you can just like easily port it into your games. So I'm just gonna... Sure, after Burner Climax. So... There's only one song here. <laughs> Find a song that you want, click it. And then click this little option right here that says download BFSTM. Not any of the other ones, BFSTM. Okay? So just do that for all the songs that you want to put into Splatoon. Alright, so now... I don't know, that's my recordings um okay sorry about that so basically what you need to do next is that you need to go to wherever you put caffeine at so mine is right here like what it should be labeled is caffeine root and then caffeine server.exe basically ignore the other folders that I have here I just place them in here so you should have these two files right here so inside Caffeine Root, you're going to need to make a new folder with your game ID. And basically I have all the game IDs right here. So I'm USA, that's like 000, 000 50,000, 101, 76900. So you make a new folder with that name. Inside this folder, there should be a folder called Vol. If there's not one, just make one. It, sh it should be case sensitive, by the way. Inside Vol, make another one named Content. And then another one named Sound. Another one named Resource. And then another one named Stream. <laughs> Inside this Stream folder is basically where you're going to put all your BFSTMs that you download from SmashCustomMusic.com. So once you put all your files in here, like the BFSTMs, you're going to need to rename them. So basically I have a link right here, which basically has all the song IDs in Splatoon. You're going to need to change the name of your BFSTM to whatever you want to replace. Like to what song you want to replace. I'm just going to wait for it to load up here. My computer's been a little bit slow today. Uh, no thanks. Yep, so this is basically all the song IDs in Splatoon. There you go, there's the online match, you got the 
different Splyfest music, plaza, news, story, all that. You can basically re replace any song in the game with this. So yeah, just rename your BFSTM to match one of the song IDs for what you want to replace. And that's it for the Wii F no, not for the Wii U, for the PC part of the tutorial. But before we do anything else, open, open up a command prompt. I'm gonna do it as administrator real quick. So once you have a command prompt open, type in ipconfig and then hit enter. You're gonna need to write down your IPv4 address. So mine's 10.0.0.15. Cause you're gonna you're gonna need to remember that for when we get to caffeine on the Wii U. So once you write that down, that's actually it for the Wii U portion. I keep saying Wii U! <laughs> that's it for the PC portion, so I'm gonna see you guys on the Wii U real quick. So now here we are on the Wii U. First of all, before you do anything else, be sure that you run caffeineserver.exe on your computer. Like, just boot that up right now. So now that we're on the Wii U, we're gonna go to the internet browser. Like, basically, basically this is how we get our kernel exploit. What I use is that I use a website called Loadin, and it's gonna load up right here. It's gonna be http loading.ovh I'm gonna put it up on screen right now so you need to go to this website right here and then once it boots up click this little drop down box and then scroll down and so you see caffeine plus kernel select that and then hit submit so now it's gonna say running kernel exploit 31 and then it's gonna say to get back into the website after it boots you back to the home screen, which is right now. So we're gonna go back to the internet browser. It's gonna say running caffeine. And then this time it should it should show a black screen like right like right here. So basically, you can't really see what I'm doing right now, but on the gamepad, it's telling me to input my server IP, which is basically going to be your computer's IP address from earlier, like your IPv4 address. So mine's going to be 10.0.0.15. Like, your, yours is probably going to be different than mine, so once you input that, you press A to install Caffeine. And now it should boot you back to the home screen again, but this time we're gonna load up Splatoon now. So now Splatoon's loading up here. It, it may take a little bit longer to load than usual, and that's fine. But it's gonna boot up right here now. Any second now. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does take a while for it to load when you have these custom music installed. I'm just gonna skip through the newscast. You can you can replace the music for this, but I didn't do so, so I'm just gonna skip through it. So now I'm going to go into the lobby, and then you can hear that it worked. And basically if you want to see my custom music in action, like what it actually sounds like, I'm going to put a, put a little video up on screen right now to go 
Tsuka will make you guys click on it and <laughs> basically see what it's like playing with custom music. But Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, I focus on providing entertaining gameplay videos for Splatoon and other games like Smash Bros and Mario Kart. So why not check out some of my other videos here? If you like what you see, why don't you subscribe to get updates on any new video that I put out. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I provide updates about this channel, but I also like to tweet and even retweet random stuff. Thanks, and I'll see you guys later.